So the author says, man, it's good to sing praises. I, I want to sing praises to you. I want to sing a, a, a song to you. I want to express to you how much I truly appreciate what you've done and who you are. That's why we sing, man. We don't sing just because we think we got good voices. <laughs> we sing because of, of our gratitude. And that's what the author is saying, and we're going to find out why he's saying this. But we sing because we are grateful for what you've done for us. And can I tell you something? God is not concerned with the sound of your voice. He's more concerned with the sound of your heart. And if your heart is beautiful to him, he can care less if you squeak when you sing. He's more concerned that you're praising him and it's coming from a deep internal place because you're grateful for what he's done. Yes, yeah, amen. That's good. That's what the author says, God, it's good to sing praises to you, man. Because you've done a lot. You are the saving grace. You are an amazing God. When God hears your voice, is he just hearing your lips or is he hearing your heart? So when you come into the sanctuary, come on, let, let, let's not even talk about the sanctuary. Let's talk about outside the walls of a building. Let's talk about when you're in your private moment, when you are at work, when you are at, at school. Can, what, the, the, is God pleased with the sound of your voice? Because everybody lift up holy hands in the sanctuary. But when, what happens when you're not around other believers? Do you sing with the same expression of praise? Praise. 